I'm here with Jasim from Unilumin here at Integrate Middle East 2024. It's a big year for the show, but it's an even bigger year for Unilumin. 20 years in the market. What's happening for Unilumin this year? What is the focus and what is your key approach in this market? Thank you. And I think I'll start with uh, the 20 years uh, question. Basically, we've done 20 years of innovation uh, in the LED industry. We've done a lot of uh, research and development into micro, mini, different technologies. And this year, uh, we'll be coming out with new products or new innovations. Uh, at IME, we have some of the models di di displayed here. That include MIP, AM, dri uh, AM driving technologies, active matrix. So a lot of changes in the industry, but I think we are proud to be here. And the 20 years is a testament to our innovation and perseverance in the industry. 20 years for the company is huge, and you're one of the bigger players in the mm. LED market. Which particular verticals are you seeing growth in the Middle East? What are the real big players for you at the moment? I think vertical-wise, we see a lot of corporate uh, and government uh, entities, uh, including command centers, uh, broadcast industries. Uh, corporates are also doing a lot of uh, you know, innovations uh, because the creative products have taken a whole new uh, dimension, uh, including outdoor, facade displays. So I think, uh, apart from education, most of the other, vert other verticals, we are doing quite good. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, design companies working with us. So they've taken the initiative you know, to work with us from the beginning to implement the products or design into the uh, whole law process. So I think that's the direction that uh, the industry itself is uh, moving. Uh. It's bigger and brighter not just here at Integrate Middle East, but also on the, on the stand here for Unilumin. Mm -hmm. What are you showing? What are the real highlights here today? I think uh, we have a couple of new technologies, basically. We have uh, MIP, COB, uh, innovations in COB, basically. For example, we have the Umini 0.9 Pro. Uh, which is basically an advanced version of the Umini series. It's, it's got a massive uh, 30,000 is to 1 contrast ratio, cool screen technology, low brightness or low light certification. So there's a lot of innovation behind it. Even the deep blacks, if you look at the black part, it's not grey, it's actually pure black. So when you have uh, images, contents playing on it, it's uh, a lot more uh, visually effective. So it's, the whole thing is about the visual appeal of, uh, of a display like this. Absolutely. And what sort of market is you aiming to target with this display? Well, initially it was going to be experience centers or you know luxury or, or VIP meeting rooms, these kind of things. But I think if you look at it, even museums have started ad adopting it. Control rooms have started uh, using it as well. We have a customer who's got a 0 0.7 even. So it's going in a different direction, although it was not the initial in intent. But I think uh, people are adapting to it because the advantages are uh, not just the price, uh, the power savings, the heat, uh, the design elements. So there's a lot of advantages. So people and the end customer are adopting it. I have to agree. It seems certainly in this market that experience is becoming a big focus in museums and exactly. even your regular entertainment. So I can see where the application would be mm. for, for a product like this. Well, Jasim, it's so great to speak with you. Congratulations on 20 years and here's to another 20 in the market. Thank you very much. Hope Thank to you. see you soon. Thank you. Bye.